Yeah, uh, need to change a winning side this week? Uh, no need. I think um, you know, winning a final um, selection is going to be tough this week. We've got Aiden Johnson, who's available from suspension. Um, so we'll have a look at that later in the week and see how the boys pull up from the weekend's game and um, yeah, choose a side accordingly. So, um, yeah, there's no real need to change a, a winning side, but uh, certainly something we have to look at. We will talk uh, in the VFL last week about some of the uh, older bodies playing for the standalone clubs, getting it over the younger bodies. Do you think Linnell has any of that sort of advantage over four? Um, oh, no, I haven't thought about that, to, to be um, to be truthful. Um, They've obviously got a fantastic team, Glenelg. Um, they've been really consistent all year, and, and we know that we need to be at our best to be able to compete with them this weekend. Who, who do you reckon gets... They've got some, so, some quality forwards. Um, Trent McKenzie was so good. Who do you think you'll get if you had to choose between, say, a Liam McBean or a... Um, what's his name? Luke uh, Reynolds. Yeah, well, it's pretty hard in there, Glenelg's forward line. Um, you know, they've got Josh Scott, Luke Reynolds, Liam McBean... Corey Gregson, you know, Marlon Mottbock plays a bit through there. So um, it's, our defence has been really solid for us, um, especially the back half of the year. And um, we just got to weigh up later in the week whether, you know, Trent's the right option for Liam or whether he goes to one of those other guys. So, um, you know, Trent was outstanding on the weekend in our game against Adelaide. And, um, yeah, we hope he continues that form into this weekend's game. Did you expect the same thing from Pete Laddams? Yeah, he's... Uh, he's in rare form at the moment. Um, he's almost like another midfielder for us. I think he's he's still working on his ruck craft, um, but he's work around the ground and you know, running inside forward 50 and kicking a goal from 45 metres um, towards the boundary on, as a ruckman is pretty special. So uh, he needs to produce again. Jesse White's a really quality player and he's played some really um, good AFL footy. So Pete knows he needs to be at his best to be able to um, give us a first look at the ball on the weekend. Lovely. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Thanks, mate.